A perfect example of this re-researching of buildings is this, the Winslow House. Now you only have a couple more months to see this building because they're going to tear it down and start a new one in April. And a couple of the reasons they're doing this are as follows. The building does not have a chimney, which they found through architectural research would have been there. They have a, a hole in the roof with, to let the smoke out. They also on this roof have split shakes not the thatched roof that they have found to be historically accurate in these structures. Uh, another reason is because of the siding. You can see here they have split out riven uh, weatherboards. Um, that would be a very accurate thing. But over here they have vertical sawn siding. Now they had vertical saws. They were two-man rip saws, what were known as pit saws. And they would leave marks like this. The problem is these marks are too good. <laughs> They're too perfect. You can see how, how parallel they are. A pit saw, you, uh, pit saw leaves irregular marks, not perfect marks like this. This was done with a machine and a machine they did not have in 1627. So they're going to take this off and, and put the new siding on in the new structure. Also they have in here a animal pen or a coat as it was sometimes referred to as and it wouldn't have been within the structure. It would have been a, a part of the building on the outside. So this is a building and down the street they have one that is being newly constructed. So let's go take a look at it. Here's a perfect example of how they're putting these buildings back to what they really feel is a restored and more accurate building. One of the things we talked about was the structure for the chimney. Now the chimney doesn't go all the way down this wall, but it's up there and it's a wooden frame for the chimney that they would coat with a daub. Now another place that daub, that mixture of clay and straw is gonna be used is in the walls. And here you can see where this wattle has been uh, put into the wall. They cut these little notches here and have these horizontal pieces go across. And then they have vertical pieces that have been split out out of oak here. And these pieces are like lath in a modern building. And they will put that daub just like they would put a plaster on here. And it would actually plaster the walls. So they could use that type of thing also. Now, on the outside of the building, we talked about sawing out the siding. Well, here they have riven. They have riven siding, split siding, uh, white oak that they have taken with a fro in a mall and have split out these long planks. And they can take these on the exterior of the building and nail these onto the side. And that weatherboard would last you a good number of years, and it certainly worked in 1627. You can see here where this palisade that surrounds the entire plantation has changed quite a bit. 12 years ago, or maybe 20 years ago, they put up these, this palisade. It is a, a horizontal beam with vertical uh, posts stuck to it, and they, the bark has just been stripped off these, these trees and stuck across here. Well, what they have found during those 50 years of research and over the past 20 years is that this, a paled fence of just split boards, would be put onto the horizontal. So this is a, a slight change, but it's one of those changes that makes the museum even more accurate to 1627. Well, this is what's known as a hubble. And if it looks like a roof sitting on the ground, you're right, that's exactly what it is. They have all the framing that a roof would have and all the thatched roof that a regular building would have. And it was a structure that people could live in if they didn't have time to put together the entire house. They could very quickly put together just the, the roof members, put it together, thatch it, and leave it here until they had time to build the rest of the building, to put the walls on. And when they finally had time to do that, eight. 10 men would get underneath here, lift this up, and they would bring the frame underneath it, and this would be the top of their house when they were ready to construct it.